Today on the channel, it's all about gotta get a deal. As these tough, interesting inflation times we're in, I give my secret to getting the best deal on my action figures. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for something entirely different today, as today it's all about gotta get a deal, it's also about getting the best bang for your buck in this crazy wild action figure universe we are currently in, uh, let's just call it summer 2022, the height of inflation is here, well I say height and I guess it could always get worse, but it could get better, but most likely it'll get worse, but we know prices are rising at the grocery store, at the gas pump, and of course in the toy aisle with all the action figures we all love. And it's causing a lot of us to say, that's so hard to say goodbye uh, to some toy lines, stopping picking up things, picking and choosing, doing things like that. And hey, I totally get it. You guys have seen my videos. I've dropped a few collections. I've sold a few things. I've said, okay, this is costing more. This has got to go. Uh, we're all there. We all are dealing with it in some instances. I don't care how much money you make an hour, how much money you make a year. Everybody is feeling the crunch across the board. And uh, it's only going to get worse is what my gut says. I hope not. Uh, but I do think it's going to be a little rougher. I know there's price increases on the horizon in mid-July through August and then possibly late fall. So buckle up, stay tuned for that. But in this video, I'm going to try to tell everybody, here's some ideas, here's some ways to save money and maybe actually get the stuff you've been wanting uh, for the pre-inflation prices or possibly even below. So Hot Tip Central is where we're going here today, and we're going to call this one Gotta Get a Deal. And you can pick up the t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, as we talk about gotta get a deal all the time. Uh, and let's see, let's break down some ways to get that deal. So let's start it off, and the first thing is patience is a virtue. You guys have probably heard that a million times. Uh, long game, I love a good long game, uh, but wait if you can. That's pretty much the over-encompassing part of this video is the waiting is the hardest part. Tom Petty tells us that all the time in his song, uh, but it is true. The waiting is the hardest part, but the waiting is where you'll get the best deals most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. So keep your patience going there. Start playing the long game. And the other thing is my dad, even at an early age, always told me, Kyle, is it a want or is it a need? And there is a difference between the two. And at the end of the day, there's probably no needs for action figures. Yeah, you need to eat, you need to drink water, uh, you need a house and a roof over your head, you need an automobile, most likely in most places. Those are definitely needs. Uh, action figures, not quite there. And we've talked about in weekly purchases, uh, some of the studies with inflation, uh, toys are one of the things that are going to go by the wayside for a lot of people, but they don't necessarily have to completely so let's break it down. Let's talk wants and needs and all the fun stuff. But first off, of course, there's a million places to get your action figures. Of course, there's the Walmarts, there's the Targets, but there's also the ringside collectibles. There's the Zavis out there and there's the Entertainment Earth, the Big Bad Toy Stores. You name it, there's a lot of places to go. I think I forgot to mention Amazon as well. There's a lot of places to go looking for different toys. I think we all agree on that. But one thing there is out there is ringside collectibles. For instance, there's discount code KYLE to save 10% on anything you buy. Now, there's a million coupon codes for ringside. And of course, I appreciate you guys using my code. Uh, but there is a million codes out there. Uh, you can get a cheaper cost on a few things. Of course, with the ringside collectible code, use discount code KYLE, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, Entertainment Earth. Just recently, I posted in the community tab. I posted on my social medias. Entertainment Earth has given me a link. They have uh, deemed me link worthy, apparently. Uh, but I do have a link and you can save 10% on anything that's in stock at uh, Entertainment Earth. So go to Entertainment Earth. If you're looking for some deals, look for some clearance, look for some stuff like that, you can save even more by going through my link. So if you go to Entertainment Earth, save the link that I've supplied, uh, go through there, you'll automatically save 10%. So that is a good deal as they do have a lot of hot clearance, a lot of hot stuff like that on Entertainment Earth. Uh, Zavi, of course, Zavi, uh, more UK based, but they do ship to the United States, of course. Use discount code Kyle Peterson for 10% off anything in stock. 
20% off apparel. Now these are just some of the discount codes out there. There's a million companies offering discount codes. Man, you gotta search around. Look around for a code. If you have uh, Bob's Action Figure website, whatever it is, hunt around, do a little due diligence, spend five minutes asking around. You might be able to find a code or a discount or free shipping or something to any of these websites. Maybe there's a coupon. Maybe there's a big weekend sale. Man, you got to be diligent. You've got to be able to know these things and you got to play all your cards. Whenever I'm searching for a figure, let's say there's a new G.I. Joe figure I want to buy. I check all the places. I go to Entertainment Earth. I go to Amazon. I go to Walmart. I go to Target. I go to the big bad toy stores. I look around at all these. Okay, what is the best deal? Who has in stock? Who is the cheapest? Who offers free shipping? Uh, it's on us as collectors to research some of this stuff. Don't just blindly pay the, the first one you see. Dig around. There's always deals to be had. Uh, you got to take a closer look. And talking about like ringside collectibles, here's a great thing. Obviously, ringside is awesome. They get their wrestling figures first that's what collectors like us want we want them right away but once again we go back to that first part of this video patience is a key if you can wait on some of those hey i get it i love the ultimate warrior there is no doubt if there's never an ultimate warrior i want to be the first to have it i will pay a markup price for that because guess what i absolutely love the ultimate warrior now i am a little bit different i have a youtube channel i'm not going to say i'm the biggest i'm the greatest whatever I have a YouTube channel. You guys all know this. Hopefully you've liked, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hopefully you are fully aware of that. Obviously getting stuff early for ringside for me is beneficial. I can see it. I can review it. All that kind of fun stuff that goes into that. Uh, obviously if you wait for the Target's Walmarts, you're waiting a few months down the line. Uh, if you're doing a YouTube channel, you might not be able to get as many views. People maybe have lost interest, move on to the next thing. You guys get it. I don't need to explain that to you. But for a majority of people, let's say there's a, a new Mace figure, the new Mace, and you're an elite completionist. Well, you can go to ringside. You can save some money, 10%. And guess what? You know, ringside does have a little bit of a markup. We all know that. A lot of these places do. But guess what? You're paying for convenience. They are paying to get these figures here instead of by boat, the long way by boat. boat. They're flying these over. There's a cost with that. But they're also shipping them to your door. You do not have to do anything. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to spend gas. And gas is through the roof right now, as we know. And guess what, guys? Your time is worth something. Now, I say that all the time in my figure hunt videos. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm wasting time. Time is money. Luckily, I enjoy the thrill of the hunt, but not everybody enjoys the thrill of the hunt. Uh, just say, you know, you spend an extra $9 on a mace figure, or whoever it is, save 10%, that cuts that down a little bit more. But guess what? How much does your gas cost? How much does your time cost? Uh, what could you do? Could you put an extra hour of overtime and get more money? Uh, there's things like that. So, uh, you know, a lot of the companies, Ringside and uh, Big Bad Toy Stores and Entertainment Earth, sometimes they get uh, beat on for their markup. But guess what? You're 99.9% .9 guaranteed to get the figure. You're saving gas money and you can find a code. You can find a discount, things like that. So I want to defend those places because a lot of places get a bad rap, but they are paying for, you are paying for convenience with them. And that makes all the sense in the world to me. Uh, I get it right there. But Ringside, of course, has holiday sales. They have pay-per-view sales and pick it on Ringside here. But yeah, they do have those sales. You can get discounts on older figures. If you just have a little patience, once that new set comes in, guess what those older sets are? They're liabilities. And that's the same for Amazon, Target, Walmart, you name it. It's a liability. New sets, people want the shiny new. The old stuff doesn't sell at quite the same pace. So then Ringsides of the world, they put up a sale. You can get a discount on these, maybe even below Walmart Target prices. You can see that right now if you go to Ringside for their 4th of July sale that's going on. Uh, you can save money there, and then you save that extra 10% with a Kyle code or whatever code you're going to use, preferably Kyle. You know how that goes. But you can save extra money there. It's just having a little bit of patience. And I understand. I understand more than anybody that is very tough to do because it's that shiny new toy effect. You want it. You've got to have it. And I've been like that since I was a little kid. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat. Uh, so there's ringside holiday deals. There's Entertainment Earth holiday clearance events. A lot of times around the holidays, local toy stores will do 15% off. Uh, there's things like that. There's a lot of places you can go get some deals. Uh, I have a local toy shop in my area. I know usually when they have their big deals, and I eye a few things that are I really want that I don't want to quite pay that much for, but if they're going to offer 15% off 
for Fourth of July. Hey, guess what? Kyle's swooping in. He's picking that stuff up, and that's what you got to do. You have to have a little Rolodex, uh, write some stuff down, jot some stuff. It is a little bit of a job trying to get a deal. It's like you know those extreme couponing shows back in the day. You see people do that kind of stuff. A lot of it's the same thing, just a uh, a lot funner than action figures than like dish soap, at least for me, and I'm sure you guys too if you're watching this. Walmart Target clearances. Now we know historically there's a lot of clearance event times. We are just at the start of a big Target clearance event right now. So if you got to get a deal, WWE Legend figures, for example, Mean Mark, China, Road Dog, Edge, going down to clearance. If you can wait it out, you're going to get a deal there. And of course, we know with Target, they have a lot of sales all the time. Easter, the holidays, there's always toy sales going on. Uh, there's usually a summertime event. And what Target seemingly has done the last couple of years is spend $100, get $25 back. Spend $50, get $10 back. Things like that. Uh, wait for some sales, and, and even better, usually on those sales, they'll have the stuff we like. They'll have Transformers, Marvel Legends on sale those uh, Easter week, for example. They will put that coupon in there. You can get even a better deal there. So you got to look out for some of those things at some of the big retailers as well. But like I said, the clearance aisle, now the clearance is tough because you're not sure what's going to go. And your styles may vary by stores. So once again, if you were fortunate enough to live in an area that has a lot of Targets and Walmarts, you can kind of pick and choose between them all. But it is tough. I totally get it. If you live out in the country, you have one Walmart. You're dependent on that one Walmart this is going to be a lot tougher for you. I totally understand that. I see that. I've been in a million of those stores in my life. So I totally get that whole deal there. Uh, but the other nice pro tip I do, uh, picking on Amazon now. So we're turning our attention to Amazon a little bit. Amazon, anything you like, I always uh, put it in my cart. I put it in my cart and I don't check out immediately. I let it sit there and I let it marinate for maybe a week. Unless it's something I really need, you know, whatever. But leave it there and check back every couple of days because prices go up and down in your cart. It's a way to incentivize you to pick them up and, oh my gosh, this just dropped $2. Maybe I'll pull the trigger. So that is one thing. I always put it in there and I wait. That's usually in stock stuff, not pre-order most of the time. We also see Amazon if Target has a big sale. We saw it a lot with Masters of the Universe over the last few months. Target has a big Masters of the Universe sale. Guess what? Uh, Tar or Amazon will pile on on that and they will match those sales. So maybe you only have a Target in your town and the selection is terrible. Well, you're in luck. Amazon's price matching and they probably have that whole entire wave for you to price match with. So you got to kind of know that kind of stuff too. So definitely be working the internet sites and a lot of those things, I think you can take it to Am from Amazon to Target and they will price match you. I think Walmart will do that same thing. It's kind of the old old lady grocery rule between different, uh, different grocery stores. They'll try to, you know, price match across the board and 99.9% .9 of the time stores will do that for you. It's just a lot of people don't ask in this day and age because it's not worth the juice isn't worth the squeeze is what they end up thinking on. But you do have that. Now, a couple of things that get a bad rap, and I do see some collectors out there dogging on this, and I don't really understand the reason why. Uh, first one we're going to talk about is GameStop. Of course, GameStop, not your first place to go for action figures, but I check the GameStop website about daily because they do do some ridiculous cheap discounts from time to time, and you can jump in and you can get some stuff at a nice discounted rate. Uh, but of course, there is the GameStop Pro membership. It's like $15 a year, maybe 20, but you know what I mean. It's 15, 20 bucks a year for this membership. And every single month you get a $5 gift card to the GameStop store. You also get points for your purchases that add to extra coupons and stuff. So you can make your money back basically in three months. Uh, and that is perfect for the long game. There's a lot of Star Wars stuff, for example, that goes to pretty deep clearance there on the Black Series. They'll go down to $14, $11.99. Well, you have your monthly car, your monthly coupon for $5.00. All of a sudden, that's an $8.99 figure. You can pick it up at store. Over $35, I think, is free shipping at GameStop. You can bundle some of that. That is the way to go. So a lot of people don't like that membership, but it's a must-have for me because it pays off every single year for me uh, just with the points and gotten to get a deal and all that. So that is a pro tip if you guys aren't doing that. Obviously, this stuff helps if you're collecting mini toy lines. If you're only collecting WWE, GameStop membership might not be for you. It's pretty hit and miss on WWE stuff. But if you're a collector that dabbles in a lot of lines, uh, some of these tips, including this next one here, is one of the bigger tips here, is the Hasbro Pulse membership. If you dabble in a lot of lines, this thing pays for itself immediately. I see a lot of people down on the Hasbro Pulse. I shouldn't have to pay this uh, just to be able to buy their products and things. Well, that's the way it goes. Costco, Sam's Club, for example. You want to go in their store, you have to pay a membership fee to be able to check out with stuff or have a friend that's going to help you out. Uh, 
uh, but and that's what you can do at Hasbro Pulse. Share a membership and order between each other. I mean, you can do that. Uh, but Hasbro Pulse membership, yes, it seems like a lot of money, but if you order a lot of things, uh, your shipping is free. That's one of the perks of that. You also get early access to pre-orders, and a lot of these pre-orders sell out, as we know, so it gives you a more of a fighting chance. Uh, but the big thing about the Hasbro Pulse membership uh, to me is if you collect a lot of lines, they always have the Hasbro Pulse Con every fall. And Marvel Legends, every line, Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, Star Wars, they all have Hasbro Pulse Con exclusives. Well, guess what? You get early access to ordering those. That's the only place you're going to be able to find these. And guess what? You also get free shipping. The membership truly pays for itself. They just had like a huge Hasbro Pulse sale uh, for members uh, a couple of weeks ago. I grabbed some stuff at ridiculous cheap prices. It Trust me, if you collect a lot of lines, it will pay for itself. You know, it sucks paying for a membership. I've always said, you know, there's a lot of credit cards out there that have like a $10 a year, $100 a year. It's a kind of the same principle. I've never pulled the trigger on those because, I, you know, I'm not going to use a credit card for staying. I usually use my work credit card for staying places and get points through that. Uh, but it's kind of the same effect there. And it does make sense. If you do the math, uh, check what you collect, check what they have, and do the math yourself, I think you'll find a savings there. So that is another pro tip, the Hasbro Pulse membership. Another place to go, there is a lot of deals to be had on eBay, the Mercari's, and the Whatnots of the world. Now, I haven't done Whatnot yet. Whatnots asked me to be a, a seller on there. I, I just don't know. I have so little time. I, I say it all the time, but I really do. I don't know if I could consistently say, hey, every Tuesday night at 6.30, I'm going to have a Whatnot stream because... Tuesday at 6.30, I might be in Kansas City, I might be in Nebraska, I might be in Minneapolis, I might be in Wisconsin. I could be at home on the couch. Who knows where I could be? So it's tough for me to to be consistent. And I think the power through life or the, uh, the success of life is consistency. You might not be the best, but if you show up every single time, you will win. I say that all the time. And I think to be a really good whatnot seller with a lot of followers and stuff, you have to be consistent. Every single week at this time, I'm having a sale. I don't know if I could commit to that, but uh, Whatnot has a lot of deals. If you've never checked out Whatnot, check it out. A lot of people's auctions start at a dollar. Well, guess what? Whatnot is not eBay, and it's not even Mercari as of yet. It's growing, but it's a live auction site. Uh, there is some steals to be had. I see a lot of people posting their steals, and there's still steals to be had on eBay and Mercari as well. Uh, not like there used to be, but there is some steals. And one uh, top point recommendation, whatever we want to call it, uh, easily misspelled words. If you misspell them, sometimes you can find it. When I was hunting my LJN collection, guess what? There's a lot of moms and grandmas that the kids moved out. They're selling the LJNs. They look at the foot of the wrestler. They don't know what this is. They don't know what's an LJN. They look at the foot and it says Titan Sports. So what do they do? Titan Sports Wrestler for sale. Guess what? Search Titan Sports. Save that as your save listing. Got to get a deal. You can find some deals doing that. And I've done that in the past as well. Uh, but uh, more so eBay Mercari, you can find deals on loose figures. People buy it. Maybe there's reviewers out there. I, I should do this more often. I buy it, review it. I should sell it. But you know me. I'm keeping it. I can't give this stuff up. Uh, but uh, that's what you can find. You can people, reviewers all the time sell stuff after they review it. Uh, there's people that buy it, maybe play with it for a little bit. Maybe it's gently used, only displayed. Uh, somebody said it's so hard to say goodbye. I'm out of this collection. You could save a heck of a lot of money if you're okay buying a loose version uh, instead of an on-card one because the value is almost put in half most of the time. So if you want to play a little more of that long game, wait a couple of months after something comes out, get a loose one. It always happens. It's always a way to save and get a deal there on your loose figures. If you are a loose collector, if you're an on-card collector, uh, it does apply a little bit, but maybe not as much. Uh, the other biggest thing here is you may miss out on a few figs. So you're playing this long game. You're waiting for deals from ringside. You're waiting for deals from GameStop or whatever. Now, let's say... Adam Cole is the really hot one out of the last Elite set. You got the rest of them for 15 bucks each. You saved some money. But that Adam Cole, you never saw a deal. You never saw it in stores, whatever it may be. Well, guess what? You saved all this money playing the long game on so many of these other guys. Every once in a while, maybe you have to pay up $5, $10 on a figure. But as a whole, you will come out whole and you will save money. But there's always going to be some of those figures that you should probably jump on right away. AW Chases, for example. That's a perfect example. I don't think if I saw one of 500, one of 3,000, one of 
whatever it is, and I don't care what line we're talking about. If you see one of those a star, guess what? You probably better grab that because you're not going to get a better deal than that. Even some of like the Mattel chases, maybe McFarland chases, uh, there is a time to buy. There is a time to pay retail uh, on things like that. And of course, there's other things, older figures that maybe you find a deal on. Uh, you got to pull the trigger when you see it because it might not be there. But for most things, I think that's fair. Marvel Legends, uh, Hasbro G.I. Joe, uh, you know, WWE Elites, AEW Unrivaled and Unmatched. If you would have been more patient, if I would have been more patient, right now, currently, all Unrivaled figures at uh, Target, $9.99. How much money could I have saved if I would have played that long game? Yes, I would have been admiring Rio from afar for many a years, uh, but I could have finally got her at $9.99 instead of like $22.99 that I originally paid. Uh, but things like that. There is things to do if you have patience. And I get it. Patience is extremely hard. I totally understand it. So that's just some of the tips. I don't know why I thought to do a video like this, but with inflation really hitting everybody's pocketbooks, maybe there's one thing you can take from this video that could maybe help you save some money. Because at the end of the day, it's all about got to get a deal. We got to feel like we got the most out of our figures. We got to justify it to ourselves. Got to feel like you saved some money and did the right thing. Because I always say it if I can save a dollar, I will save that dollar. Because guess what? That dollar can go back into buying other action figures or buying a meal. Who knows what? But always good to save your money on that kind of stuff. Uh, so there it is. There is my pro tips uh, for the day, for the video. I'd be very interested if you have some ideas that maybe I didn't think of here. You can put them in the comments down below, help everybody else out. Maybe there's another deal to find out there, another way to find it. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff, a lot of information in this video. I get it, but I hope it can help some of you guys uh, figure out a way to get things a little bit cheaper, maybe save a little bit of money. And that's what I'm here for. It's a team effort here. We're all in this fight together for these action figures. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell, follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, Patreon, where you can get a really good deal because you support the channel. You get bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways. That's where it really shines. Uh, monthly giveaways over there. And like I said, best of all, you support the channel. So for a video all about gotta get a deal, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.